Okay, here we are. I told you I'd, well, I didn't tell you. I thought that I'd show you some MOX because you had asked me about the, um, the sliding on the frets and stuff like that. And with the guitar sounds on the MOX, do you have that? It's like, no. Um, kind of play it like the other instrument. You can't play the standard keyboard stuff. I remember having a demo, I was showing a, a senior crowd once. Um, if you're playing broken glass, you have to play it like broken glass. And I was like, and it sounded like somebody crashing glass, you know? So the keys are just like a, um, a, a way to trans, what, transport your ideas, but you can't always play it like um, like a keyboard. You gotta like, treat it like it's a different instrument in a way. I don't know if you get what I mean. Your technique might change a little, okay? Um, I'm gonna go to a few sounds I have on here right now that I have for my next song. I think I told you about um, reverse polarity. Um, that should be coming out real soon. I've been spending a lot of time on it recently. In fact, you inspired me to give back to it a little bit more. And thank you very much. Um, you are my number one student, even if we don't, you know, communicate or, or a lot. I don't have any other students. I don't pursue other students. Uh, it's just that you asked and I thought, oh, I'll help her out if I can. So um, here's one I like I'm using in my next song um, and I have that in my favorites. You can actually take, since there's 1200 sounds here, you can have a favorites list and um, have those on hold so you don't have to keep thumbing through all the sounds. So here's... This, this will appear, or this will be on my next song. don't sound as good because I've had to put my mixer in what they call a phantom power mode to use this microphone and when I did that it changed all these sounds I hear more like background noise um, I'm not sure how to iron it all out but only for these videos I'm actually doing this um, I take it off the phantom power and I have better sound going through my PA but this I hear more hissing with it than that so that's the phantom power for this mic hookup. So bear with it, but hopefully I can still convey to you how great some of these sounds are. different voices, oohs, ahs, whatever you want. Um, 
That's one I held for this, and here's another one. It's called the Nai N-E-Y. You probably can't read it from where you're seeing it, but here it is, the Nai. <laughs> Another blues run that I forgot in the last video, here it is. This is all with the keys, the notes I touch in the C blues minor. <laughs> There's like four different ways to play that. You can go down. Play ascending, well, descending. I don't know if you know what I mean. Say you're descending, you're going down, but you're going up while you're playing here. So you're going down, but your your riffs are going up. So you're descending with an ascending riff, kind of. Um, then another one. I usually, you'll see me do this in song. This is ascending, ascending. I like the nice, very peaceful, reverse polarity would be like one note at a time. I do like to bend notes. You don't hear me bend them off, but I, I'll, at home I'll be bending a lot of notes. It adds a lot of emotion to it. Another sound I'll be using in the song, it's electric guitar. Um, let's see here, here we go. Oh.
custom riff will sound like Okay, I'm gonna try to go hit a couple other sounds that you might be amazed by. Um, let me go back here. That's the classical guitars. search. There's guitar, um, basses, strings. Let's see what we got here for strings. Enter. Um. There's tons of
all kinds of pizzicatos. You have the, like the drum section. You can hook up different beats to it. The rhythms of the way that. We... That's an arpeggiator that you're hearing, creating the, the rhythm with that. You actually can say, I'm gonna put it on hold. I could speed it up if I wanted to. There's a tempo button right here, or a tempo setting. Category search. Let's see here. Strings, brass. Brass is another good one, I guess. A bright trumpet. It's a modulation wheel, and I don't know what function they have hooked up to each one of these sounds, but usually it's of a, a vibrato effect. Hear that? Fugal horn, I guess. They have so many different sounds. Blown bone. Uh. Well, I'm not going to stick too much on horns. Let's go back here. Brass. Um, woodwind. Sax. They have good, some good saxophone sounds on here. Um, let's see. Search. This sound on my um, in my beginning song, 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 excuse me. Much more on this. Let's go back. 
simply choir seat pads. There's some cool sounds here, especially for ambient soundscapes type music. That's where I got that um, nativity or nativity sound. Or um, Let's see here if I can get something together real quick. are kind of my favorites. Mother Earth, that's kind of interesting. Now this modulation we'll hear will have a different effect on the synthesizer sound. synth comping. The synth comping is kind of interesting. So if you want cool trance, I'd hit it. Voice, it's going to you can hook up some trance.
Forgot the symbol. Anyway, that's some of the rock stuff. Dark kind.
possibilities with this workstation. Like I said, this is the Yamaha MOX8. It's a great synthesizer. If you could just have something like that, it's like you can produce just about anything you want. I like the old analog synthesizers as well as the newer digital. This has a lot you can do with it still. I didn't even touch on half the stuff that's on here. Some of it I don't even know how to use yet, but it serves a purpose. <clears throat> but anyway. effects. Something I've been around this. <clears throat> sound so this is just a tiny taste of what this has on it I hope you enjoyed it
Well, I hope you get the idea of what all we got here. Um, it's a great machine. I enjoy it. Like I said, I don't know everything about it. Um, I do enjoy what I do know and uh, thought I could share some with you. And I, I hope you've had a good time. I've enjoyed uh, trying to convey the best I can to you what this thing can do and also the keyboard technique. Um, hopefully you'll get something from it, okay? Thanks a lot. Have a good one. I'm going to try to send this over as soon as possible. Okay? Take care.